Pokemon Scarlet and Violet second trailer is finally here, and I honestly love every second of it. I already watched the latest trailer because it was night back then, and I can't just record myself and start screaming when the legendaries popped up. But I also started screaming when the legendaries popped up. Uh uh! Is that a mini dinosaur? It's just a promoted dragon! Oh, true? This trailer revealed and confirmed a lot of things. It revealed the 3D models of the starters, your friend slash rival named Nimona, which is obviously older than us and more experienced in Pokemon battling, yet really bad at throwing Pokeballs, the two professors which are exclusive to what versions you get, Professor Sada for Scarlet and Professor Gigachad. Uh, Turo for Violet. It also revealed co-op mode, maximum of 4 players in one world. Think of all the YouTube videos this one feature can make for Pokemon content creators. I can't lose to a man who has a, a swarm of flies in his room. No! And now we're in the new Pokemons introduced. First we have Palmy, which is possibly the Pikachu clone of the region, also a partner of our rival Nimona. Smoliv, get it, small, olive, which is very cute and I want one in my future team and already drew it when I woke up first thing in the morning. So here, look at this one, look at this little, little olive. And then we have Lechon, which is basically Lechon. It's a very well known celebratory cuisine, yada yada yada. And here's the internet when it showed up in the trailer. We also had some glimpses of confirmed Pokemons that made it in the regional decks. We also get to see trading and some terrains and landforms of the region. They finally made some justice for Venonat and Venomoth. Moments after that, the music cuts and now we're in the climax of this trailer. They announced the legendaries. Koraidon, the Scarlet Legend, and Miraidon, the Violet Legend. And looking at these two, it is obvious that we are dealing with past and future in these games. Conflicting times? Something about dealing with the present? We don't know, we need more info, so we gotta be patient. They also look like motorbikes, so I want to ride those two-wheeler geckos around the region and stop at every gas station as soon as possible. I also hope that they could climb on walls like Sneasler does or even fly. If they want to go even more fancy with those jetpack booster thingies, I think flying is a good option. As for what I think, I think this trailer is awesome, definitely worth the wait and makes the Pokemon Gen 9 hype even more astonishing, and it's gonna be released on November 18th, so let's go! I also cannot wait for the soundtrack and themes that this game will give to us. And it's completely open world. This feature can introduce more people into trying Pokemon out to see if they can enjoy it since there are no more obstacles blocking your path every second. I also love the legendaries. I'm going for violet since it's one of my favorite colors. So that means I'm team future. You can't deal with the past anymore. <laughs>